Hey, Eagle fans, it's Ray Simmons for GoUSIEagles.com. We're here with head coach Rodney Watson, and we're back home here in February uh, off a better road trip than our last one. Uh, got, got a W to finish up last road trip. Yeah, I really like the way our guys uh, came back after a tough stretch, uh, went to s and a team that's been – it's been a traditionally a tough place to play for everyone, and, and um, our guys played extremely well offensively. They're, they're an amazing stat. <clears throat> there were 78 possessions in the game. We had 16 turnovers. It was a little bit high, but in a pressing game, it's, it's not overly alarming. They had 17, so that, that neutralized that. But in the 16 possessions that we had a shot, we scored one and a half points per possession. That, that's really that's a high number. We had, we had great play out of our bench. Everyone that played scored. Um, our, our starters really fell into a good spot, and so I, I think our kids are really starting to gel into, you know, really starting to have uh, better possessions throughout games, and, and we just got to be a little more consistent in, throughout this last stretch. Well, this February is the month you want to start seeing that uptick for most teams. Uh, start with Maryville and uh, Missouri St. Louis this week. What can you tell us about those two games? We're, we're in the now or never, and, and, uh, and, and it's. You know, it's just the way it is. Maryville is a is a complicated team. They they guard in a very, uh, they they play a switching man to man defense. Some call it a matchup zone. It's, it's primarily just a, a completely uh, a, a different. <clears throat> it's sort of an obnoxious type of defense. But to their credit, they make it tough for you to get good angles and and good looks. Uh, it's a game where we really need to be uh, shooting the ball well, moving the ball well. We've got to we've got to counter their switching with with some uh, real simple old school basketball. Uh, Umsol's a team that's kind of had a hard time really finding their way. They've struggled on the road, and we hope to continue that for them. Some big promotions this week. Uh, we have a Heart Awareness Night on Thursday night, sponsored by Deaconess Hospital. That's a, that hits a little close to home for all of us. Yeah, I think that's uh, kind of like cancer. I mean, I think nearly everyone's been affected by 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 a, a heart issue somewhere along the line, and and uh, the more we become aware of of, of the heart. Uh, uh, conditions and, and things that we can do to prevent those types of, of um, illnesses, the better off. The team will be wearing red uniform. The coach will be wearing red tennis shoes. And, and uh, we're going to hope to draw some awareness to, uh, to uh, our friends at uh, the Heart Hospital at, at Deaconess, uh, along with heart awareness throughout, uh, throughout the country. Also, fans, we'd love to see everybody turn out on Thursday night in your red, so uh, be sure to make a special point to get out here to the pack and show your support for heart, heart health awareness. Again, that's sponsored by Deaconess. Then on Saturday, we finish up the, the short homestand with homecoming. Always a big, uh, fun event around for USI. It will be fun. I mean, the kids come out, and, and uh, this tends to be our biggest crowd of our students, and, and um so that'll be a lot of fun. There's a lot of activities going on with homecoming, the, the coronation, and, and all the things that go along with that. A lot of families are coming down for, for this weekend. So I think we'll have a great crowd, and, and I hope you'll be a part of it. Well, that's all for now, Eagle fans. Again, a big week for USI basketball here at the PAC. We have Heart Awareness Night on Thursday night. That's a 7.30 game. 515 for the women's game, but USI takes on Maryville. Then on Saturday, a 315 start for the men against Missouri St. Louis. Big games for the Eagles as these games are really important down the stretch for GLVC tournament seedings. That's all for now. This has been Ray Simmons and head coach Rodney Watson for GoUSIEagles.com.